Look at that sign. It's a beautiful sign. Hi, welcome back. I'm Jay. I'm Aaron. <laughs> Boop. Hi, welcome back. I'm Aaron. I'm Jay. And if you're new here, we are Jaren's Cabinet. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Um, so we have actually not done a um, what sold for four weeks. We've had a whole bunch of stuff going on, um, several family things. And Jay and I celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Time flies. So, um, and like I said, we had a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So we are going to cram four weeks into this uh, episode. Yeah. We have eBay. Yeah. We have Macari. Yes. We have Poshmark. Yes. Let's get into this. Cuddle Duds. Women's plus size sleeveless pajama night ground. It's a nightgown. It's cuddle duds. Um, like the brand, got it at a garage sale for a dollar, and I believe I took a best offer for seven dollars with a buyer paying shipping. Let's just assume the buyer pays shipping until unless we says say otherwise, because I think most of them do, right? Yes, there's a few that are free shipping, but Okay. Okay. Maturity pants. Brand, jolt, yeah. color, gray. Um, these were my patern maternity pants while I was pregnant, so I don't remember how much I paid for them because I bought them several, several years ago. Um, but we sold them for $4. Boo. Mm. That's about a hot dog at Portillo's. <laughs> <clears throat> Ann Taylor Loft Sweater. Um, got this for a dollar at St. Vincent de Paul, and we sold it for, I believe, a best offer of five dollars. J. Crew broken in t-shirt, blue. Got this at um, in the city at um, Village Discount Outlet for eighty-five cents, and we sold it for six fifty. New with tags, Annex Casual Corner Women's Brown Corduroy Pants. I have this down for a dollar, but I'm not exactly sure where I got it. But I do know I got it for a dollar, and we sold it for eight dollars. Vans off the wall skateboard high top sneakers. What is the print on that? I can't tell what the print. They're, is. Oh, they're um, puppies. Puppies. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the um, ASPCA, right? Yes, ASPCA. Yeah. So they were super cute. And there's yeah, lots of pictures of little dogs. Yeah, on, little puppies. If you can't tell. <laughs> and um, got them for five dollars and took a best offer of twenty. I think I had them up for thirty. I yep. can't remember, but yep. okay. So took a best offer of twenty. Harry Potter kids Gryffindor hooded sweatshirt. Got this at Goodwill for a dollar. It was a dollar ninety nine, but it was half off. So got it for a dollar. Sold it for best offer of nine dollars. But lot of four chapstick total hydration lip balm. <laughs> um, and this one I got for a dollar each, so I spent four dollars, and I believe it was fifteen dollars free shipping. Mm -hmm. So I think shipping was like four dollars or three fifty. So I'm gonna say we turned four dollars into either like eleven or eleven fifty, which is okay. Okay, Medilla Easy Expression Bustier. Very good. White. Got this for five dollars and sold it for twelve. New with tags. Plus size three XL Disney Minnie Mouse original Mouseketeer dark pink T-shirt. Yeah, this is super cute. Um, got this at Village Discount Outlet for four dollars and sold it for fifteen. Public opinion men's gray T-shirt. Yeah. Um, also got this one at Village Discount Outlet for 85 cents and sold it for, I believe, a best offer of six fifty. Cherokee Scrubs Top, floral design. Jay and I have talked about the giant bins that we got at a garage sale. We got a ton of scrubs for $30, so we're still working through those bins. Um, so I'm going to say nothing on those and um, sold that for... Seven dollars. 
Yeah, those bins were worth it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Harley Davidson. Oh, no. The, well, no, this was another case of accepting of a best offer and the buyer refusing to pay. I think we had two of those. Yeah. This month, um, which just really irks me. But this is an example of that. But when we do finally sell that, we'll come back to that one. Okay. Budweiser men's short sleeve button up shirt. It's got beer logos. Yeah. This was actually really nice. I thought I was going to get more for it, but spent $2.40 at Goodwill and sold it for a best offer of $11. Notre Dame Adidas Climalite. Pullover green jacket. We showed this in our haul video, um, our last video, um, and I said that there were two holes in it, so I took a, um, a best offer. So got it for $4.35, and we sold it for $19.65. Which not is too shabby. Yeah, that's not bad. Plus size, fig and flower women's blouse. Yeah, it was, it was really cute. I almost wanted to list it as new with new without tags, but um, got it for $5 at Goodwill and sold it for 12 I think that was the best offer, but I'm not sure. Riders by Lee, mid-rise, straight leg, medium wash jeans? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is another one. I have it down for a dollar. I think this was at a garage sale. This is either a garage sale or St. Vincent de Paul. I can't remember, but I got it for a dollar and we sold it for eight fifty. <laughs> I love this. Marissa Christina long sleeve cat lover sweater. We got this from your mom. This was not your mom's, but right, your right. mom bought this and gave it to us. Oh. Um, yes. And you did not think we were going to get anything for this. You didn't think we were going to get a buyer. I don't remember that. Okay. Well, he did. So um, there was a cat lover that bought this and bought it pretty quickly. So we got this for free and we sold it for $19.99. Very And nice. they paid shipping. And that was full asking price. I guess never underestimate the power of cat love. <laughs> Women's Keds Bliss Canvas Wedge Heels. I got so many lowball offers on these shoes, but finally sold them for full asking price. Um, so bought them for $5 and sold them for $25. And if these were my size, I absolutely would have kept them. That looks like your style. Yeah. Banana Republic women's skirt, beige and brown plaid. Yeah. Um, Banana Republic, I always think that's going to do so much better, and it really doesn't. Um, this is another St. Vincent de Paul, so I got this for a dollar, sold it for six fifty free shipping. So I figure, I think shipping was like three or three fifty. So I think we made two bucks on it. Oh well. Susan G. Komen breast cancer. Uh, yeah. Hoodie. Yeah. Um, this one I got at a garage sale for a dollar. And um, sold it for eleven dollars. I'm not sure if that was the best offer or not, but one dollar into eleven dollars, so that was pretty good. Vintage Midway playing cards double deck set. It's kind of cool. Yeah, these are really neat. Um, got these at a garage sale for a dollar, and sold them for best offer of five dollars and sixty cents. Got some Torrid. My Torrid. Got some Torrid jeans. Love my Torrid. Um, bought these for five dollars and sold them for seventeen. And we already got positive feedback on that. Sweet. Thank you yeah. for watching. Yeah. Vampires are bloody hot. <laughs> Women's T-shirt. Got this. We got this a long time ago, but um, we got this at a Goodwill in Peru, Illinois. Mm, oh, yeah. That was a while ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago. So we um, bought it for $2, and we sold it for $8 free shipping. So um, shipping was either, like, I think it was like three fifty. dollars So we made a few bucks off of it, but that really wasn't worth it. Aeropostal. Postal. How do you pronounce that? I think it's Aeropos Aeropostal. Women's blue zipper hoodie. Yeah. Um, this one I did get at 
St. Vincent de Paul for a dollar, and we sold it for five. We had that one for a long time. Vintage Capizio. I don't know how to pronounce it. Cream color women's crochet vest. This is another one your mom got us. Thanks, mom. Yes. So we didn't pay anything for this, and we sold it for $10. New Orb Plush Craft Unicorn Pillow. Yeah, it's a cute craft for kids. If, if our daughter was older, I definitely would have kept it for her. But um, this was $3 at Goodwill, and we sold it for $11. Women's Big Star Maddie Bootcut Jeans. This is a J find. I don't know if I've been listing all the J finds or telling which, which ones were. Just figure about like half of them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you found this one for $3.75. Yeah. And we sold it for $30. Not bad. So good job. Thank you. Good job, Jay. Chico's Western Look Denim Jacket. We showed this in one of our haul videos. I got this at the church rummage sale. So we um, figured we spent 39 cents on every item. So um, 39 cents and sold it for a best offer of $21. New with tags, Talbots, women's frilly tank top. This was Goodwill, um, $3. It was half off. So we got it for $3 and we sold it for 10 Marker Quilted Red Zip Ski Vest. This was another J-Find for $2, Possible. and we sold it for $13. And we received positive feedback. And we received positive feedback. Thank you if you're watching. Yeah. VTG, is that the brand? What does that mean? VTG. Vintage. Vintage. That is the correct word for it. Sunbelt Denim Short Sleeve Jumper Dress. This dress... What do we got on here? Okay, I know... That you want to hurry up because we have so many no, things. No, we can. But spend let me it. pause. Yeah. yeah, and let me just talk about this dress. I spent ten dollars on this dress at like a big flea market um, by my parents' campsite. This had so much detail. You, you, can, are you able to? Yeah, we'll just put in a, a better picture right here. For yeah. You. Um, the, by the treasure chest, those gems, those are real. Those are like buttons and little gems. And I mean, that's, you can't tell. Right. Same thing with the, on the little pirate's hat. That's a real like brooch. It's clearly a peg leg child standing on casks of rum. <laughs> so I don't know what this kid is doing with this rum. Yeah. In this that's trailer. a lot of rum. That's two barrels of rum. Yes. Yeah. And the kid has a peg leg. And he's clearly too young. And then this pirate on the pocket has a brooch. And I mean, this was a, a, for as ugly as it was, it was beautiful. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not sure where you wear this, to be honest. You know what? I was talking to my mom about it and she said, oh, that's something I could see a teacher wearing that. Okay. Well, but no, a teacher's not going to wear it it's with rum, rum bottles. Rum. And, and you know, skull and crossbones. And Maybe if it's like a really young class that they, they don't know letters and she could just say it's like root beer. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. But so a cool one. it was, it was really neat. Um, I really did think I was going to get more for it, but like I said, I spent $10 on it and we sold it for 25, which that's okay. And we got positive feedback. So thank you. I'm assuming that, that everyone's watching that bought the stuff, but let's let's assume. Let's it. assume. It. Okay, we can dream. Ladies, born is that the brand? Ladies yeah. born. Uh, well, born is the brand name. Born is the okay. So they're ladies. Born is the brand. They're teal leather flowers thong. Thong sandals. Oh, thong sandals. Yeah. <laughs> um, got these for two dollars at Goodwill. They were um. Originally five, but then we had a coupon and then the whatever. Anyway, two dollars at Goodwill and we sold it for twelve. Or sold them for twelve. Cool. Under Armour Athletic Workout Pants. Yeah. These were nice. Um got these at Village Discount Outlet for three dollars and sold them for twelve dollars. The North Face Women's Long down winter jacket. It's a puffer coat. Yeah. 
Okay, can I just, I, again, I know we're trying not to, yeah. okay, so this is the second time we sold this jacket um, in this month. So it was my mistake when I had listed it in the title, um, I had done a sell one like this from somebody else's listing. And um, so I changed all the appropriate information, um, the size, the down count, I think it's called, uh, but I accidentally forgot to change black to brown, okay? All the pictures show a brown jacket. All 12 pictures mm -hmm. show a blatantly brown jacket. Anyway, sold it for a best offer of $89, and as soon as the buyer bought it, messaged me very angry and said, this is not a black jacket, this is a brown jacket. I had to take credit. I mean, I had to take fault on that because, yes, it did say black yeah. jacket. But you spent $89 plus almost $10 for shipping, and you didn't look at the picture? You yeah. didn't look at one single picture where it showed a brown jacket? So anyway, so I had to refund the buyer, pay for shipping back, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was really annoyed with that. But maybe about a week later, we sold it again for a best offer of 75 to a person that looked at the pictures. Um, <laughs> realized it was a brown coat. Realized it was a brown coat. And I changed the word. Um, and we got positive feedback. Yeah. So. These are always the coats that, like, to me, it makes makes the wearer look like a hand grenade. I've always thought that. I never would have yeah. thought that. These, like, puffer coats, they make you look like a grenade. <laughs> Bite your head. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to say, um, and I bought that for $9.35. Okay. Into $75, so that's good. Then we have, oh, my vest. His MacGruber vest. My MacGruber vest. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm in The Warriors. Remember that movie? <laughs> we sold it. Yes, six dollars and thirty-five cents, and we sold it for twenty-five dollars, and we got positive feedback. So somebody else must be going as MacGruber for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Oh, that's okay. Okay, <laughs> life is good. Long sleeve red T-shirt. Um, Life is Good, I know is a very good brand and, and a brand to look out for. Um, so when I saw it, I snatched it up, saw, got it at um, Village Discount Outlet the first time around and bought it for $3.50 and sold it for $14. Shoe Dazzle, wild stiletto heels with gold skulls. Yeah. Um, these were neat. And I don't think Shoe Dazzle does all that well. Um, but I just thought the style was really cool. But got them at Goodwill for $5 and sold them for $14. Hmm. So. Okay. Next item. Um, we can't tell you because it's sort of our private label-y type thing. It's our thing. private label. The thing we're messing product. with. Yeah. So, um, anyway, we sold that. Again, for full price. We always sell them for full price. Mm -hmm. So. For $9.99. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, it's doing okay. Yeah. So, that's pretty successful. Lot of four. That's never underestimate the power of cat love. <laughs> so I'm not a cat lover. Lot of four. Vintage wooden cat clothes hangers. I didn't, I, I will admit, I did not think we were going to sell these. I didn't either. And in fact, my sister had given me these. Um, a friend had given it to her. She gave it to us. So we didn't pay anything for these. Um, and I put these up for auction and actually had a bidding war. I, there were only two bidders, but still. Um, and I don't know how many bids there were. But anyway, sold it for $36. Um, with the buyer paying shipping. Um, but here's here's a question I want to throw out there. The buyer paid. Um, payment went through, but the buyer said, do not ship it until the 24th. Which doesn't make any sense to me because the payment went through. Right. So why not, why can't we ship it until the 24th? So I hope that's not a ding on our account. Has anybody ever experienced anything like that? That's odd, though. Yeah, I mean... So we still have them. They we did shipped pay. them yet. They paid. Yeah. Payment went they through. They told us maybe they're moving or something. Oh, that's a good point. 
So we'll have to find out. If we find out, we'll let you know. Yeah. We'll do a follow up on the cat hangers. <laughs> but yeah, poof, cat stuff. Yeah. Okay. Starbucks tumbler. Nope. We... This is another one where oh. accepted a best offer and the buyer refused to pay. What? Why? I... Why? Why would you do that? Exactly. Don't Just... offer if you have no intention of pay of of actually buying it. And if you don't want it anymore, just message me. Just message me. I made a mistake. I don't want it anymore. I'll cancel it. It's not a big deal, but... Don't anyway, make it weird. Don't <laughs> don't make it weird. East Sport Black Nylon Fanny Pack Key Ring and Pockets Adjustable Belt Bag. Yep. It's a fanny pack. It's another fanny pack. 2019 and we are selling fanny packs. They're coming back. I'm... I'm fine with it, I guess. It makes a lot of sense, functionally. I, I think it's a great true. design of a... It's a good, well-designed thing. Yeah. It makes total sense that people would wear fanny packs. It's just that they're... Not somehow cool. they became not cool. <laughs> but it makes sense for every single person to wear one. Well, we've sold two already. So that's our small step into making these cool again. Yeah. So anyway, um, got this at a garage sale for a dollar and sold it for $5. If you think fanny packs should come back into style, let us know in the comments below. But I'm on your side. Yeah, no, I'm, we're not I'm arguing. I'm pro about fanny it. pack. Yeah, it, just find what kind of person wouldn't benefit from wearing <laughs> one? There's none. Okay, little black velvet purse. Got this for two dollars at Goodwill a long time ago, like two plus years ago, um, and we sold it for best offer of five dollars because we just wanted to get rid of it. But we got positive feedback, so made a couple bucks, positive feedback. Very good. Easy to pack and ship. Okay, pink Victoria's Secret embellishment yoga pants. Yes. Garage sale for a dollar and sold it for $9.99. Cool. Yeah, not bad. Reebok black, pink, black and pink breast cancer awareness uh, light zip up track jacket. Yep. Got this at the same garage sale that I got the pink pants um, for a dollar and sold it for seven dollars. We got some Disney Store Authentic well, Disney plush. That's like a set of Disney plush. Yeah. Um, a woman messaged me and said, um, I don't need all of them. Could you just sell me um, uh, Donald, Daisy, and Pluto? Because her autistic son, and I don't know if this was a just a, a ploy to tug at my heartstrings, but um, said her son is autistic and he was at the park and a couple kids stole these stuffed animals. Jeez. And they were his favorite. And so she's been looking all over, found them um, in our store and said, can I just have those three? Um I mean, why not? I mean, yeah. that's fine. I mean, then we still have Mickey and Minnie. We still have Mickey and Minnie. I mean. So um, I said, absolutely, that's fine. Um, yeah. So we Help gave it to her. Out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I hope that's a true story, but I'm, I'm going to assume that it is. Yeah, I mean. I'm going to assume people are good. You know, I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, she could have just, you know, regardless, have asked, and I, I wouldn't have had a problem yeah. with breaking up this. Yeah. Know, who cares? Yeah, no no problem. So we sold them to her for $30 with free shipping. I think shipping was like $8, yeah. but I paid um a dollar each for them. So $3 into, let's say, 22 And that's fine. That's and fine. And hopefully the kids enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, we got something for all of you WWE fans out there. Um, it is a Teeny Mates. Wait, wait a minute, let me get into this. I can't even see what this is. Like it's a, it's like little wrestling figures. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like little wrestling figures in a yeah. little uh, Hall of Fame ring. Yeah. We got Sergeant Slaughter. What do we got? Oh yeah, we got Steve Austin. We got <laughs> Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of these. This is kind of cool. Jake Roberts. And there's like a puzzle in the middle. Yeah, and the, and the Hall of Fame is a little puzzle. That's kind of funny. Yeah. So, um, got these the first time around at Village Discount Outlet for $4.25. And I sent an offer to a watcher for $15, and the person snagged it up. So, $4.25 into $15. I, I like the little macho man. <laughs> <laughs> a little Randy Savage. Oh, yeah! Charles 
Tear wit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, men's slim fit purple plaid shirt. Yeah. Um, got this for four dollars and I think took a best offer of fifteen. London Fog men's long trench coat. I do like London Fog. Um, got this for five dollars at Goodwill and took a best offer of twenty-four dollars and sold it really maybe in three days. Very cool. Talbot's leopard print tank top. Um, this one took a really, really, really long time to sell. Um, got this for a dollar, I think at a garage sale, either a garage sale or St. Vincent de Paul, and sold it for four ninety nine. Got it out of the house. Lot of two Michael Kors clamshell eyeglasses cases. Yes. Um, I got one of these for $1.99, got the other one for $2.99, so spent $5 total and took a best offer of $15, and we got positive feedback. Men's Harley Davidson Garage Short Sleeve Shirt. Yeah. Um, I think I had this one up for $40, but I got this at Goodwill for $4.20 and took a best offer of $25 and got positive feedback. Cool. Thank you. Le uh, Levi Strauss Signature Black Women's Jeans. Got these at Goodwill for $2.50. Sold them for $6.50. Mm -hmm. They paid more for shipping than the actual product. <laughs> Wait, no, we paid shipping on that one. Oh. Oh, you know what I did? I put down what we got. Oh. Like, minus the shipping. So, oh. that's my mistake. I'm sorry. So, yeah. So, we sold it for $12 free shipping. Shipping for us was five fifty ish okay. So, I, I turned that into $6.50. So, okay. my mistake. Sorry. Faded Glory Women's Jeans. So. This one, the buyer paid more in shipping than. Okay. Yeah. So, this one got for $3 and sold it for six fifty. I know there's a lot of little ones, but yeah. they all add up. Yeah. The University of Kansas Jayhawks purple half zip pullover. This one we got from my brother. Um, my brother uh, just gave us like a bag full of really nice brand new stuff. Um, some hats, some, some Ralph Lauren, um, some really nice stuff. So this was just one of the things that... Um, my brother Matthew got us, and so we paid nothing for this, and we sold it for eighteen dollars, probably within not even forty eight hours. Awesome! So thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. New with tags, Harold's necktie. Got this for two dollars at Goodwill, and sold it for twelve dollars. Earth Therapeutics moisturizing hand gloves. Yeah, blue. Yeah, got these for ninety nine cents each. And um, sold them for nine dollars. New with tags, Disney scrub top Eeyore. Yellow. They're yellow. They're yellow. Um, got these at um, uh, Village Discount Outlet the first time for three dollars and fifty cents, and sold it for eighteen. Now, um, real fast, I know they're doing, and I don't know if it's new. I think it's new. It's new to me at least. The promoted listing. Mm -hmm. So this was sold via promoted listing. So I know it cost me like a dollar or something like that. But I wanted to get other people's opinion on the promoted listing. Is it worth it to you? Do you think that it's it's just them trying to get couple extra bucks out of people but um i don't know if it worked and it and it helped me sell this one then i'm gonna keep doing it but yeah it seemed to yeah okay let us know in the comments below please maurice's women's black and white striped button up front vest yeah um two dollars at goodwill and sold it for 12 uh did i find this hat yep yes you did new york yankees cap with like the ear flap. Yeah. It's like it was real soft and warm material around the ears and all the Because if you're in New York and you're a Yankees fan, you probably need you that. need it. Yeah. And then some. Um so Jay found this for two dollars at Goodwill and we sold it for eleven dollars and thirty cents. So nice. Um vintage Victoria's Secret 13 inch teddy bear plush. Yes. 
Um, all plush is 50 cents at our Goodwill and um, we sold it for $11.99. New with tags, Betsy Johnson black and white dress. My dad found this for us. Slam dunk, Ed. Yeah, because he loves going to Goodwill, and he saw that it was um, a dress, and it had it was new with tags. He didn't really know that the brand was good because he's a guy, and um, but he saw it was new with tags, um, and he grabbed it. So we paid nothing for this, and we sold it for twenty five dollars. Nice. Yeah. Pink by Victoria's Secret. Pink zebra print yoga pants. A lot of yoga pants here. Yeah, no, and a lot of pink by Victoria's Secret. Okay. Um, same garage sale. Um, so got this for a dollar and sold it for eight. New without tags, Cherokee women's long sleeve scrub stop. Same thing. This is coming out of the bins um, that we got for $30. Um, so I'm saying nothing for this because it's all just profit. And it was $10. Uh, or I'm sorry, ten fifty with us paying shipping. Um, so I think again shipping was three fifty. So I'm gonna say we made seven bucks off of that. Okay, and uh, a big one here. We're gonna we're gonna end our eBay section on a high note. Yeah. Okay. New jasmine ball gown wedding dress. Yeah. Now, you said that there was a few issues with it or whatever, but it was yeah. all very well documented. Yeah, it was still new with tags. Um, got it at Goodwill for $24. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, there were some issues with it. It was missing a couple buttons on the back. There was like a mark on the armpit because it was a um, a floor model for a boutique is what the worker had told me. So there were some like dust marks on the bottom. And I said, I put all that in the listing said it may need to be dry cleaned, but um, this was also sold via promoted listing. Okay. So well, maybe I'll just keep doing that. Yeah. I wanted to try it out, but so far it's worked for us. Yeah. Um, but like I said, got it for $24 and took a best offer of $100 um, and the buyer paid shipping. So we're just going to cross our fingers that, that the buyer read the description, right. looked at all the pictures. Yeah. Or like you said, they're not like getting married in like two weeks and then gonna or they're going to return it or exactly. something. Oh, <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't occur. I really hope it doesn't. If it does, I'm really going to try to you know, contact eBay and try to push for that to yeah, go our way. That's, because that would be crazy. I so. should have put in the listing, you can return it if it's in the same condition and if the tags are still attached. Mm. But it's too late now. But anyway. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully there will be no updates on that. I wish us luck. So that concludes our eBay section. How about we look at uh, Poshmark? We sold three things on Poshmark in the last... Um, three weeks it was the what's it called um Linnea L-I-N-E-A is it Linnea Linnea I like Linnea Fine, we'll go with that um so we got that and they were brand new they were in the box um it was like a kitchen light so we got it for five dollars and it was already in the box so all we had to do was slap a label on it which yep. was nice um and we sold it for I believe it was 20 so after the fees, we made 16. So we turned five into 16. Sweet. And then we sold a Starbucks um, coffee mug. Mm -hmm. Got it at Goodwill for 99 cents. Also sold that one for $20. So our cut was 16. Fantastic. And then you found um, Fox, Fox and the Hound or Fox and the Hound. Fox and the Hound, yeah. Um, and it was still wrapped and it was the Black Diamond. Is VHS what it, VHS, cassette. yes. Yeah. Um, so you found that for two dollars, I think at Goodwill. Was it at Goodwill? I'm pretty sure, yeah. And we sold that for I believe 30 or 31, I think. Um, but our after fees, we made $23.20 off of a two dollar nice. VHS tape. It's pretty great. Yeah, so that was good. That was a good find. And then Mercari. Yes. So we sold one thing on Mercari. Um, it was a bear, a women's bears jersey, and it was blinged out. Little diamonds and little like tight, super girly. Um, got that for five dollars at um Village Discount Outlet, and we sold it for 
um, I think 30. I should have written that down. I just wrote down what we made. So after fees, we made $22.65. Very cool. So all that said, what are our totals? Okay. So the amount of money that we spent on the items that sold was $203.39. Okay. In four weeks, we turned that into $1,038.90. So not bad for us doing this part-time and yeah, just in the midst of screaming kids. Right. And, a it's busy life. Pretty so, great. Yeah. So we were pretty excited about that. Um, so. I mean, that really kind of means, because we were always trying to do 300 a week, yeah. you know? So, I mean, that yeah, means. Yeah, you're right. We're, three, six, nine. we're, we're so almost there. We're almost there for, every, for the last three weeks. Yeah. And and it, it was weird because we had some days, like a few days where we sold nothing, not one thing. And then we had a couple days where we sold over $200 worth of stuff. Yeah. In a day. So, I mean. Everybody that sells on eBay or sells online knows that there's really good days and really bad days, and we had a bunch of those. So um, all added together, we did okay. We, I was happy with really that. Really good, yeah. So hopefully we're not going to have to wait another four weeks before we do another What Sold video. But um, Yeah, we'll try not to. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely try not to. So um, I'm going to say see you next week because that's the goal. Okay. So like, comment, subscribe. Share this with anyone that you think might get something out of it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Posing for thumbnails. You like doing that. I always just, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> There you go. We don't even need to now. <laughs> Louis, come up here. Come here. Well, wait, hold on. Don't stop it yet. Louis, come here. Jump on the... Good boy. Good boy. Just look at you. Good boy. Look at the camera. Oh, yeah.